Live from Stanford University, it's theCUBE. Covering Stanford Women in Data Science 2020. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Hi and welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host Sonia Tagare and we're live at Stanford University covering WIDS, Women in Data Science Conference 2020 and this is the fifth annual one. Joining us today is John Hoger who is the Principal Data Scientist Manager at Microsoft. John, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your role at Microsoft. Uh, I manage a, a central data science team for Microsoft 365. And, and tell us more about what you do on like a daily basis. Uh, yeah, so we look at uh, across all the different Microsoft 365 products, Office, Windows, uh, security products. It's really trying to drive growth, uh, whether it's trying to uh, provide recommendations to customers, to end users, uh, to drive more engagement with the products uh, that they use every day. Okay. And um, you're also on the WIDS um, conference planning committee. So tell us about how you joined and how that experience has been like. Yeah, actually I was at Stanford about a week after the very first conference. And uh, I got talking to uh, Karen, one of the uh, co-organizers of that, of that conference. And I found out that there was only one sponsor uh, the very first year, which was Walmart Labs. And the more that she talked about it, the more that I wanted to be involved. And uh, I thought that Microsoft really should be a sponsor of this initiative. And so uh, I got details, I went back, and uh, Microsoft's been a sponsor ever since. And <laughs> I've been on the committee, you know, trying to you know, help with uh, identifying speakers mm -hmm. and you know, reviewing the different speakers that we have each year. And it's, it's amazing just to see how this event has grown uh, over the, the four years. Yeah, that's awesome. So when you first started, how many people attended in the beginning? Uh, so it started off as being you know, this conference with the 400 or so people and just a few uh, other regional events. And so it was live streamed, mm -hmm. but just really to a few universities. And ever since then, it's gone with the WIDS ambassadors and people all around the world. Yeah, so now WIDS has is over 60 countries yep. on every continent except Antarctica, as told in, in the uh, keynote, um, as well as has 400 plus attendees here and is live streamed. So how do you think WIDS has evolved over the years? Uh, it's, it's turned from just a conference to a movement. You know, it's, uh, there's all these new uh, regional events that have been set up you know, every year. Um, and just people coming together uh, and working together. Um, so we, at Microsoft, we're hosting uh, different events. We've had events in Redmond at the uh, head office and then also in New York and Boston and other uh, places as well. So as a, as a data scientist manager for many years at Microsoft, I'm, I'm sure you've seen an increase in women taking technical roles. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, it, and for any sort of company, you have to try and uh, provide that environment, and part of that is even from recruiting, ensuring that you've got a diverse uh, interview loop. And so we make sure that we have women on every uh, set of interviews uh, to be able to really answer the question, you know, what's it like to be a woman on this team? You know, if it's all men, right. you can't answer that question. Uh, and so, you know, that helps as far as really trying to, uh, you know, encourage more women to come into some of these, these STEM roles. and. Uh, I've now got I've got a team of 30 data scientists and half of them are women, which is which is great. That's awesome. Um, so, uh, um, what advice would you give to young professional women who are just coming out of college or who are just starting college or interested in a STEM field, but maybe think, oh, I don't know if uh, there'll be anyone like me in the room? Uh, you know, ask the questions when you interview. Like, go for those interviews and and ask. Like, like say, what's it like to be a woman on the team? And uh, you're really ensuring that the, the teams that you join and the companies you, you join in are inclusive um, and really value diversity in the workforce. Uh, and talking about that, um, as we heard in the opening address, that um, diversity brings more perspectives. Yep. It also helps uh, take away bias from data science. How have you noticed um, that, that bias uh, becoming uh, more fair, especially at your time at Microsoft? Yeah, and, and that's what diversity is about, is just having those that diverse set of uh, perspectives and, and opinions and having uh, more people just looking, looking at the data and thinking through you know, how the data can be used and uh, ensuring it's been used in the right way. 
Right. Um, and so um, what do you, going forward, um, do you plan to still be on the WIDS committee? What do you see WIDS going, how, how do you see WIDS in five years? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I love being part of this conference and being on the committee and I just expect it to continue to grow. I, I think it's just going beyond uh, a conference to also be in the podcasts and all the other initiatives that are coming from that. Great. Um, John, thank you so much for being on theCUBE. It was great having you here. Thank you. Thanks for watching theCUBE. I'm your host, Sonia Tagare, and stay tuned for more.